brother. I'm here at the Oyster Box Hotel, not only a week after I was banned for trying to secret our yellow man into the premises, which we did succeed on. However, he was chased out quite quickly. This is not, in fact, Batman. This is not, in fact, the Mask Crusader or Zorro. This is the fastest man in the world, the Stig. Ben Collins, how you doing, Ben? Very good, thanks. Thank You've been uh, taking your cues from Clarkson's. Wrong style. I did, did I, did, did I nail it about right? Yeah, yeah, you're bang on. The, the fastest man in the world. Is it about right? Yeah, yeah, just a bit taller. He's at, well, no, is he? He's well, taller than you are, He's 6'6", 6'4". Six, 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 I'm 6'4". Six, well, you're not. Not when I'm sitting, no. So we're gonna go through, uh, for those of you who don't know, the stick, who was the fastest man on uh, Top Gear, has now moved, he's written a book. What's your book called? The man in the white suit. Ironically enough, because he was known as the man in the white suit, the stick. What does stick mean? Um, I'm not really sure, but it means uh, anonymous man in my life, but I think it's... Uh, what language does that come from? Probably Norwegian. 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 Not sure. I think it's a nickname for something that uh, happened to clerks in the school, but I'm not sure what that means. Oh, okay. Now, um, your book, your book, you've sort of, I just heard from you, 150,000 copies today, so... I think yeah, along those lines, yeah. That's pretty good for a petrol head. Yeah, it's, it was, um, well, really glad it's done well. People have enjoyed reading it, which is cool, and I enjoyed writing it, so yeah, hopefully I'll get a chance to write some more books. Cool. Well, welcome to Durban, and what are you doing here? I'm down here with Audi to um, have a drive of their new A6. Mm -hmm. um, we smashed around track in Carl Army yesterday, which is great fun, um, and off to Cape Town next week, and yeah, sort of launching the car, getting a few people to have a drive of it and see what they think. Have you crashed it yet? No. Do you think you are? I doubt it. It, um, it sticks to the road pretty well. It's like a um, super grip. It's got um, lightweight suspension. Is really really honed on it. So I think um, it'll stick to the road. We'll fall off it. So tell the truth. You can say this. Imagine there isn't a camera in front of us, right? Yeah. Tell the truth. Are you endorsing this car because of what they're paying you, or do you really believe in this car? Genuinely, uh, I like the car. Right, so uh, let me ask you the question again. Are you? <laughs> is it that good? How, how much money do you have? I was a box. <laughs> What have we got in petty cash? If you're paying more, I'll tell you the truth. You're telling the truth. No, but it is. Isn't that awesome? It's great. I mean, I wouldn't. I've got one on the road. I drive an S5, um, and I'm a bit of an Audi fan, and I have oh. been before this this year. I've had Audis, you know, long before I came down and uh, to promote the car, which is what I'm doing. Uh, so if I didn't like it, I wouldn't uh, say I liked it. Um, oh. And uh, that's that's been true. You know, eight years I've driven every different type of car, and you can call it, you know you call it as you see it. Yeah. Now I heard via the grapevine, I don't know if there's any truth in this, that you were the um, stunt driver for Quantum of Solace. Yep, one of. Is there any truth that you crashed the Aston Martin? Well, I only crashed it when I was meant to. Oh, but you did oh, did you did you actually do the crashing when it was supposed to be crashed? That one where it rolled over when she was in the road and then rolled. That's that's the film before me, but um, oh, that was so I was part of a big big team of guys that were doing all the stunts, which is absolutely mega. And uh, so yeah, I've got to And they asked you to do a crash though. Well, we were, we were doing some stuff that was eventually was cut from the film, but we were, you know, well, there's, there's bits where the cars are sort of smashing into each other. And... So you're not just a, a fast driver, you're a real a, a bona fide stunt driver. Kind of, you know, you know like uh, the stunt professionals are the guys that do the really big, crazy smashes, but um, we've done a few um, that we organised, and, you know, it's, it's good to be a part of that kind of team where you've got all the different experts in their fields. All right, and did you, um, oh, yeah, is it any truth there's a rumour? You can, you don't... Imagine there's no camera and there's no one else. There's a rumour going around that you might be um, one of the drivers or one of the stunt drivers in the new Batman. Hopefully. I'm hoping to do that. That's, you're on um, the list for that. I'm on the list, so I'm waiting. Wouldn't you love to drive that Batman, Bill? Well, I don't know what they're going to have in the film, but um, I'm sure it's going to be something pretty fruity. You're doing quite a bit. I mean, you're not just a, a racer and a stunt person. You've like, presented, you've published, you any other things in the pipeline that you that you want to do that you haven't quite accomplished yet? Well, I'd love to go to the moon, but I think it's unlikely. Well, never say never. Never, no, you know. I know Virgin's no. setting up a kind of like, uh, yeah, sort of holidays in space type thing. Well, what am I going with Virgin? I don't think I'd do it with Ryanair. If they were doing trips to the moon, I think um, I'd stay, stay at home. What's your favourite movie? Um, Blade Runner. No. It's awesome. The original or the director's cut? I like the original. I, like, I, I liked it with Harrison Ford's voiceover. Wow! That's amazing. Who would have thunk? Hey, Ben. Ben Collins. Any relation to Phil? Yeah, uncle. uncle. Is he really uncle Phil? Because you no. do have. No, you're no, kidding. Because no. you've got the same high cheekbones and the yeah, and the light I eyes. I can't sing. So, and you can't sing. No. Give it a bench. Uh, 
No, it's not there, it's not there. Alive. Another day in paradise. Yeah, we're both, we're both, we could do something with that. We could, yeah. Just quickly, what can we expect from Ben Collins in the future? Well, I'm racing at Le Mans, uh, so just finished that a few weeks ago. Uh, it's not correct, 24 hours, and so we're doing the Le Mans series, uh, hopefully doing the World Championship next year. And you were leading the Le Mans um, at one stage, what year was that? We won the championship last year, and way back when, yeah, 2001, uh, didn't get to the lead of the race, but um, we were setting, I led the pace for about four hours um, in the Ascari LMP, so that's good fun. Are you not involved with the Paris Dakar as well? I'm hopefully working with some guys, yeah, that we were in the army that um, had to have uh, legs and arms amputated from you know being blown up and shot and what have you. Um, and uh, so following these incredibly brave boys who are going to do the Paris Dakar rally. And you're going to um, train them? I'm um, doing a bit of training with them and they're modifying these cars. They can do 120 miles an hour over these sand dunes. Wow. Um, so it's pretty inspirational stuff. So I'm proud That's to be joining amazing. them. That's amazing. Ben Collins on East Coast Radio, Breakfast Tech. Thank you for having, uh, thank you for having us, Ben. Thank you for having me. Yeah.